one very important tutorial, especially for students of the University of Education, Winneba. Now, the institution is gradually migrating from the student portal, that is ITS, to what we call OSIS, O S I S. And so from now onwards, that is beginning this academic year, students will no more be registering their courses on the O system, that is the ITS. But rather, they are going to do their registration on the OSIS. And from henceforth, all your academic records, example, your results, transcripts, and everything is going to be printed from the OSIS and no more the ITS. And so this tutorial is going to guide you how to be able to get access to your OSIS. So as usual, we are going to launch our browser. It can be, you can use any device that has internet connectivity. It can be a phone, a tablet, or a laptop. And so, I am going to use my laptop to guide you through stepwise process on how to be able to get access to your OSIS student portal. And so, we are going to launch our browser. So, the first of all, you're going to la you have to launch your browser. It can be Google Chrome, it can be Edge, it can be whatever browser you are, you are using. So, I'm going to use Edge. So, after clicking on the Edge, um, you head to the address bar and type the URL of the university. That is the university website address, and that is www.edu.gh. So, you press on enter and you, load, you wait for it to load. Good. Here we are. So here we have the various component over there. But before that, make sure that you have gone through the process of resetting your password and getting your student mail. And if you have not done that, you can go and watch the other tutorial to know how to be able to um, set your student's mail or get your student uh, mail. You watch the other tutorials and you'll be able to uh, get yourself acquainted on the processes. So let me continue. So you, you head towards OSIS and that is where I'm moving the mouse on OSIS. Remember, no more ITS OSIS. So you click on OSIS and you wait for it to uh, load. So depending on how, there is, uh, the, how your internet connectivity, how fast it is, if yours is superb, then it's going to take a few time or small time for you to be able to open. If yours is otherwise, then you don't you don't have to be worried at all. You can you wait for the system to fully open for you. So when you click on the OSIS, this is the next web page that will be open for you on the university or website. And it says OSIS Student Portal. Click the Go to Portal link in the appropriate group to access your OSIS Student Portal. Now this is very important over here. We have two groups. We have Group A and uh, Group B. And Group A is for one student admitted into the 2022-2023 academic year. Second one is continuing students at level 200 to level 400 students. And third, continuing uh, continue postgraduate students, that's MPA and PhD. And when you go to the Group B, it's for those who completed school in October 2022. Or oh, that is uh, the second one is students from uh, the CODEL, that is for distance um, education. Okay, so if you are a regular student and you were admitted into the 2022 2023 academic year, you if you are in level 200 to level 400, then you have to go for group A and so click on go to portal. So I'll click on that. Let's wait for it to be go. Now, why it opens like this? You have to enter one your your student mail. You will have to enter your student mail. And I've said if you have forgotten that, go and watch the other tutorial to be able to know how to set your student mail. Now here, I'm going to head towards forget password. I'm not going to enter any credentials here. So you get to forget. after clicking on forget password. This is where you enter your student mail. I have a, several a lot of I mean student mail over here. So I'm going to use one as an example. So. You click on one and it up, it pops up. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So good. Now you have to tell the system that yes, of course, you are not a robot. So you click on I am not a robot and you wait. Good. When it opens, you follow the instructions. Select all squares with crosswalks. So crosswalk, we are 
So what we normally talk about, I mean, say it's a zebra crossing. So we have selected it to verify. Okay. So I'm which good. So after which you click on reset. When it, and when you click on reset, if the system is successful, it is going to send a link to your um, your student mail inbox where you can continue the rest of the process over here. So you click on reset. So it tells us that after clicking on the, the previous thing, it tells us that now it says as a password reset link has been sent to your inbox. Please check your email inbox. So check spam if may is not found in your inbox and click on a report as not spam. So what we are going to do next um, is to head to the inbox of our to the inbox of our um, student um, mail and get the link so that we can proceed from there. So quickly let me get to my student mail and this is how you do it. You, you open you can open a new type and type uh, gmail.com good then you click on it to load make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell and uh, share for others also to benefit good okay so I'm saying use another account so after you've clicked on the next option you come here and you click just click on use another account use another account so when you come here, I have some email over there. That's all I'm going to use. I'm going to use my student mail address. So I have it over here. You click on that. After clicking, uh, so typing or inputting your student email, you head towards the next button and click on it. So whilst we wait for it to open, make sure that um, you subscribe to this channel, like and share, so that anytime I upload this new video, uh, you will be notified. So I'm going to enter my password. It's my credentials and so for safety's sake I'm not going to show password. So let's go. So click on next. Good. So we are here now. It's opening the say University of Education Miniba. Uh, we are now in our student mail. Now let's go and check the link that has been uh, posted over there. Okay, here we now. So this is the link that was sent after we issued um, password reset. And so this is where I'm moving the case on. And so quickly, you click on that to open so that we can follow the rest of the instructions. So we click on that. Okay, so it is giving us an option over here. And the first option is a password reset request has been made to your account. If you made this request, please click the button below to change your password. And it gives us a second option where it says that if the button above does not work, copy and paste the following URL in your browser in order to reset, uh, in order to set a new password, in order to set a new password. So now let's first um, check the first option whether it's going to work if it doesn't then we try the alternative so you click on change password so let's wait for it for a couple of minutes and see whether it's going to open for us so you realize that this is taking much time so um we are going to try the other alternative because it's taking much time and delaying the process so what we are going to do is to uh go back to our student email inbox and here we are. We are going to copy this link. That is it, starting with HTTPS. So you copy it, select it, then uh, you right click, then you click on copy. So you go to where we have the tab, then you click on address bar, select, you can decide to select everything and paste, or you clean everything to avoid any mistake. And uh, either you right click there and click on paste or you can alternatively you can use the shortcut key control plus v so i am going to use uh, that is the, the direct process that is control v so i'm going to click on that so you click on that and after it has pasted the link over there just press on enter on your keyboard and if you are using your phone you can press on send so yeah it's loading
Good. Now, after clicking on Reset Password, either by using the button or by copying and pasting the link, it brings you to this page. And here, it is required of you to enter a new password. The pa this password is what you are going to use to access um, your OC student portal, your OC student portal. And so, you will have to um, give it a nice, stronger password. And you should not forget because the moment you forget, you may not be able to access your OSIS student portal anymore. And so I'm going to type first one says password, and the next one is um, you confirm password. And so um, watch me as I insert my stronger password. But as I type, make sure that you subscribe, um, press on the notification bell so that anytime I upload new tutorial, you'll be the first person to be uh, notified. Let's get going. So now I've entered my password, I've confirmed. So after that, you click on reset password. So let's click on that. Okay, now it's loading. Good. So now here it said reset successful. You have successfully reset your password. You are logged in. So after that, you click on OK. Now this is all about, I mean, when setting your i mean osis password we have gone through the process if you were confused go through the tutorial over and over and over again and you will be able to um access your osis student portal remember the university is no more going to use ITS student portal but rather is going to use what we call the osis make sure you subscribe to um, this channel hit the notification bell like and share for your, uh, in the next episode of our tutorial, I'm going to teach you a one platform, an AI that is going to help you with all your assignment. Imagine you have been given a bunch of assignment where um, the various websites are not going to help you to actually come out with whatever you want. Imagine you are stressed up and you want to do a research, you have to come to thousands of books. If you are interested in this next episode of our tutorial, which you are going to concentrate on an AI platform that is going to help you do all your assignment. Make sure you hit the notification bell, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much. And stay tuned for the next tutorial. Okay. So here we have the registration. If you want to for new books your portal right now, we have it says well, welcome to the information portal. here bottom will allow you to um, do your registration um, when the system is fully open I'm going to do another uh, tutorial that is going to uh, uh, going to help you to successfully register all your courses when the system is duly open for registration I'm going to guide you through stepwise processes to successfully register your courses without any problem so make sure that as I said earlier you um, subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified anytime when you go to the next part you have a call academic plan academic plan we'll talk more about that later then we have academic results from results are in there i know this is for my my, my records i'm not going to click on it uh, for you to see maybe when you are successful with yours you can why not um go there and view your results then you go to account statement and then of course um some few other bunch of things so thank you once again and stay tuned for another Tutorial. For any assistance, send us a WhatsApp message on 0548-670601 or 020-967-1669. Our team will be there to assist you. Thank you and make sure you subscribe to this channel.